Okay, the missing in-channel JFET that fell in the car, but it's been found. Let's see if we can get the thing in to the radio without destroying anything. It actually looked like I had it lined up pretty well before I dropped it. Let's put it in the pliers and try to get this guy or gal or whatever it is into the radio. And try it out. Left hand, maybe. Steady lefty. Need more light. Well, light just almost bit the dust on the floor. Because it's not a proper work light, it's just a household light. Everything here is a hack. I am not a radio shop. Okay. In we go. Really can't see well. Okay, there I can see that. Can the camera see it? Sort of. It won't focus. There it goes. That wire's in the way. I don't know how a dentist does their job. It'd be so hard. Let's move this wire out a bit. Try it again. There we go. Okay, I would say that's in there. Finally. Let's tip the radio and not have it fall out. <clears throat> and start some soldering and see how it goes. Turn the iron back on. And tip the radio carefully, very carefully. Tipping the radio. Very carefully. Still tipping. Give me a minute. All right, we're tipped. So what happened? Can I get these things on cam? I don't know. Put the cam on top of the AF board, that might work. That's working, yep. Come on, where are you? There's the center of disaster. Okay, so we all are existing. Let's uh, try to solder them in without knocking them back out. One wrong move and those will drop to the uh, drop to the table. <clears throat> so you want to tack them in first. Tack in one of them. Tack in each lead.
<laughs> and this is where the iron should be grounded to the radio. <clears throat> I might try and find a ground clip here. Okay, <coughs> I found my remaining ground clip. It's probably from 1980 something. I'm gonna put that onto the sorry iron and ground it off to the radio. You don't want any surpri surprises when the, you deal with these transistors. All right, grounding to the tip. Whoops. Grounding to my iron body, which is probably hot. Grounding to the radio chassis. There, that means I won't have any strange currents flowing when I hit those things with solder. You don't want to have any trouble. All right, let's locate them. There they are, a bunch of wires coming in. Can't see, can't get in there. So the trick is you don't want to bump these things vertically. You want to just, damn it, there goes my ground. Don't bump them vertically, just get some solder on these things and be done with it. With a grounded iron, I hope. I don't want these things popping back out. Of course, the soldering iron won't work because the tip is dirty or something. Rub it on paper. Try it again. Yeah, and the ground comes off, of course, because it's not proper. We're regrounded. Tin to tip. And now I'll carefully not bump this damn thing. There. I just want to get one wire on there so it won't go falling down. Then you can be more sloppy and cowboy if you want. Okay, that's one of them. Looks like I wrecked the other one. Let's do this one here. I want to get the other one so it won't fall down. Let's get this one here. See it moving around? It wants to fall down. It's dying to fall down. Okay, we got that one. Now, I ended up wrecking that one wire, didn't I? I ended up wrecking the trace on the board because I had too much heat. So what you want to do is look at the trace and see where it goes. And since I have the best light here and the best photography equipment. <laughs> okay, so that trace looks like it goes to here. If you get this wrong, you're going to be in a world of hurt. So 
So I'm guessing it went to two places. Sheesh, the whole pad came off. That's so bad. So. It went to here and here. It's like I destroyed the worst one that I could. So move that like that. And that becomes a bridge. And that's as good as you're going to get. Well, this thing's a hack, huh? How did I screw that up? Okay, so let's solder that on there. And I'll need another piece for the other one, which really pisses me off. Okay. I hate hacking up things. I hate the work. And if these things don't work. It's just going to make me feel bad. Looking for my grandmother, which has fallen off somewhere and disappeared. Here it is. Grounding my iron can with my hack wire. All right, so I'm gonna solder on that wire. Oh, ground came off, but too late now. All right, that's on, I think. Good enough. A little more solder, I suppose. All right, that's solid now. Okay, so... Let's get the rest of these on here. That's on there. So now I'm gonna take some cutters and cut those wires off. And I'm gonna reuse one of them for a jumper. Of course, there are no cutters around here. Let's go get them. How long is this video so far? 13 minutes. I guess it's not so bad. Oh. All right, got some cutters. So, let's cut some of these strands off. Hopefully that won't go flying anywhere. It did. <clears throat> they always fly somewhere, right? I guess I'll shake the radio down later. Let's get this one off of here. Yeah, I want to get one of these and capture it for a jumper. How was that one look? Doesn't look too good. I really made a mess of this, haven't I? Okay, let's put this one here. It's too long, huh? This is not going to be fun. So 
So I think what happens is I'm going to uh, tin one end and put some solder on it and just drop it in that way. That's what we're going to do on this thing. I'm going to send suffering more than we have. Let me borrow the light for a minute. All right, I've tinned that little guy. Put some more solder on that bridge to cap there on that. Okay. That thing is really a pisser, huh? Some ball of solder on there. Let me find this little wire. Got it. Of course, I can't see. much and the wire just flew into the radio and it's gone there's that <clears throat> You know what? Heck with it. Let's try something else. Scrape the copper off of here. Do it that way. Not too good. How do you like that? Maybe that'll work better than a wire. Well, 
Let's see what you would have got, if anything. Hopefully it's grabbed onto there. Well, this has been a real mess, hasn't it? Not sure why that's way out like that. Oh, I think that was that brown wire that was missing that I chopped, that I messed up. Okay, so these connections over here, hopefully are reasonable now. As I was mucking around in here and screwed those all up. These, I hope, are reasonable now. I guess I can try the preamp and see what it does. Or see if it blows up. Of course, now I got a piece of wire in the radio floating around. A little piece. I'm confident that the transistors are correct in the sockets, so I'm not worried about that. Drain is drain, gate is gate, all that's good. This connection gives me a little bit of worry because I screwed that one up, overheating it. Okay, now it's time to look for mistakes and slop and solder that's splattered around. Make sure this thing has integrity. Of course, it's not going to be new like it was, is it? Well, I don't see any solder bridges under here. And here's something weird. <sighs> okay, so are we ready to see what happened? The first thing I'm going to do is check the 24 volt power supply and make sure it's not shorted. Because these run on 24 volts. And so if it's shorted, I don't want to turn the radio on. That will blow out 24 volts again. I'm looking for cold solder joints and things are really messed up. Now the excitement of will it work is overtaking my better judgment. Well, it's in. Okay, it's time to major 24 volt power supply and see if I effed it up. If I sure did, or those things are shorted, or whatever. It's also time to flip the radio over and see if it looks scary. See if I screwed up the uh, transistors of how they shifted around and they look awful or not. But I guess who cares? Oh boy! So I got to put the little board back in here too. I got to put this board back in here. So I'm going to stop the video here and we'll go forward and see if it works. Okay. I'm going to put the uh, cover back on here for that board. There's a metal cover that goes on the, the RF board and then the AF board flips back in there. I've lost some screws for this over the uh, weeks, but that's how it is. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.